Creative Writing 101 Character Development I am the hero, the brave, and the blank. For me, you've a careless author to thank. There's nothing about me that's very unique. You're in the wrong genre for details, you geek. I am a warlord or wizard or witch. My vague motives at times make the audience twitch. I'm evil. I'm corny and quite undefined. I'm written this way, and I hope you don't mind. I am a monster, the dragon or troll. I hold the treasure you'll steal, which I stole. I'm not a great wit. I exist to be slain. It's better than nothing, though, so I can't complain. I am the peasant, unnoticed, uncouth, society's least since the time of my youth. I toil all day with nary a mention, so leave me alone, lest I get attention. We're fantasy characters, just what you'd expect. Amateurs write us, we get no respect. Please go bother someone else with your affliction. Stop writing about us. Go bug science fiction. Character. Character. Now, the people or things that a story is about. Characters are one of the integral pieces of a story. You can tell a story without characters, but it would be pretty boring. You can also tell a story with the equivalent of cardboard cutouts, but that's also pretty boring. Watch. Character development. Character development. Noun phrase. The process of figuring out who a character is. Developing a character can be as long or as short a process as you need it to be, depending on how complex your story is. You don't need to know much about a nursery rhyme character's background, but you should probably know something about where your short story's main character is coming from. Some areas to think about while developing your character are their goals, their background, their family, their likes and dislikes, or even random facts. One way to develop a character is to pretend to be them, and then have a friend ask your character, you, any questions they can think of, anything at all. It's pretty fun. The biggest thing, though, is to make sure your characters have a goal. What makes them do what they do in your story? For now, just try to think of one fact and one goal for your character. Now for an example. Remember that hero from the opening poem? Pretty bland. So here's a more developed take on the heroic archetype. For my fact, the battle cry is, You've got to be kidding me, said in that tone of voice. Their goal is to go on adventures, to earn enough money, to pay for library school, to become a librarian someday, and it'll be awesome. So, let's try this again. Let's redo that video from the beginning. So, this is our princess. Her fact, she regularly saves herself. Thank you very much. And her goal is to keep her friends from fighting. And this is our knight. His fact is that he is angry literally 95% of the time. And his goal is to protect his princess. How do you think the princess is going to take this? Let's find out. Don't! That's my liege lady, you overgrown lizard! Turn around and fight me with honor! If you don't, I'll battle you anyway! Halt! What? This dragon is my friend. I thought I was your friend. I know it's hard for you to comprehend, but someone can have more than one friend at a time. You're both my friends. My lady! You have betrayed me! 
Maybe you two could be friends, too? Or I could be nobody's friend! I, I really think this would make her happy, though. Really? I'll think about it. See? Wasn't that more fun? Good luck with your own character development, and don't forget to enjoy yourself. Bye!